Hi everybody, my name is Brian Maurer. I'm manager of life support systems here at the aquarium and we're going to talk today about the water in our deep sea exhibit. So one of the things I get asked about all the time is how do we keep these animals under such intense pressure here at the aquarium like they experience in their native environment? And the answer to that is that we don't. We've selected animals that are adaptable and that can come up to the surface and be in a lower pressure environment and still be healthy and still thrive. So the water down in the deep sea is quite a bit different than it is at the surface. The oxygen level is lower, the water is more acidic, and it's much colder. You might think of it as a harsh environment, but there are animals down there acclimated to live in that environment. And if we want to feature those animals in our aquarium, we need to recreate that environment as best as we can. So these are complicated systems that deliver this deep sea water. We've got a, a system for keeping the water cold. We've got another system or another piping loop that uh, keeps the gas values in check and uh, will keep the oxygen very low. And then just downstream of that, we have a pH adjusting system where we can inject a little bit of CO2 and keep uh, pH right on track, right where we need it for the animals. And they're all working together to um, recreate those deep sea conditions and get the water just right for whatever animal we might be featuring in that exhibit. I think it's important just to let people know that there is a lot of life down there, that it's a really important environment, and we have a lot to learn about it. Typically in aquarium uh, systems, we're trying to keep oxygen levels up. It's real counterintuitive to provide a super low oxygen environment. You think, oh, are you, you know, suffocating these animals? But as it turns out, they're acclimated to that environment, and that is where they're happiest. We started working on this back in 2016 up in our little wet lab, experimenting with these gas transfer membranes with just a very small 15 gallon system. And we were making tweaks, trying to figure it out, and we found that it does work. And then scale it way up significantly to the deep exhibit. Now we've got, you know, 25,000 gallons moving around. Now that it's open, we just want to keep it going, you know? So we've got a whole lot of equipment down there. Uh, that creates this environment for the animals. Uh, we need to take care of that equipment and, and keep the show running sustainably and reliably and, and keep inspiring the public. Well, thank you so much everyone for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to learn more about the deep sea and the work Monterey Bay Aquarium is doing, uh, check out our website, montereybayaquarium.org. Um, and come out, check out the show when you're in town. We'd, uh, we'd love to have you.